Hi, and welcome to another episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today we're going to be talking about my Jaguar C013 crossbow and string, and we're also going to be talking a little bit about what I'm going to be doing a little bit over the uh, cold season. So with that said, let's get started with today's show. Okay, before we get started with today's show, remember, hit that subscribe button right down there, right down below. Go ahead and hit it right now. Get it out of the way. And hit that thumbs up at the same time and ring that bell so you know when new episodes are coming along your way. So, let's get back to the show. Okay, so here we are back, ready to go. Um, like I said, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Jaguar C013 crossbow. Um, I did get my new string, uh, which came pretty quickly. <laughs> it came in this big old box. And I'm like, wow, where is that little string? So um, I got the string, um, and I was going to do a video on uh, restringing the crossbow. You can hear my engineers in the background having a good time. Um, but, I don't know how well you're going to see it here on the camera. But there's look at this little plastic piece right here uh, that is broke. So, I went on their website and I found the parts that I need. You know, hey, they're only 12 bucks, Not bad. But, the shipping on this stuff here is like 20 bucks. It comes from our friends up north from Canada, north of the border. So, um, I'm kind of, I don't know if you're going to bite the bullet and get the parts or, because anything I order 50 bucks or more, the shipping is free. So, uh, I'm de debating on uh, maybe get me another string, order me a couple of these. Uh, or what I, you know, I really don't know what I'm going to do yet, uh, but I definitely got to get, get that new part before I restring my crossbow. I don't want to put the string on and have something happen with those parts, so uh, I want to make sure everything is in good shape. Uh, but this is going to be just a little short video uh, on what I'm going to be doing a little bit over the winter time because it's starting to get a little cold outside. Um, but I record my videos about a month ahead of time. So right now it is uh, November the 23rd, and this won't be out until around the middle of December-ish, something like that. Because uh, like I said, I order, I order um, I film ahead of time. I use good weather. I'm trying to keep my, you know, the, the uh, my uh, YouTube page going here. So um, the more videos I get out, the better things are. And they were having a good time behind me. They got those uh, fish candies and they're playing with those. I don't know. They haven't fun with that and that's fine. So, um, and they've had about half of my Dr. Pepper and cream soda. And that's okay too. So, one thing I want to say if you guys have videos. Or something I want to t you want me to talk about, please by all means. Um, I'll put my uh, email address in the description below, um, and uh, uh, or if you just you know just drop me a line on the uh, wherever, just you know anything you want me to talk about, or go over with you know with crossbows uh, or whatever. It doesn't make any difference what it is. Um, but yeah, one thing I am finding though, uh, when I'm looking for stuff, is a lot of places are out of stock. Um, I don't know if it's because of the coronavirus pandemic or what, I don't know. Um, but that is my guess. I try to find crossbows, uh, doing a lot of research on stuff, especially when you go on Amazon and places like that. Um, they're out of stock. You know, for example, this crossbow here is currently unavailable. And I've noticed that on a lot, even on uh, uh, websites of uh, manufacturers. You know, if you go to Centerpoint, they have a lot of stuff uh, for the crossbows. So, 
Again, I don't know uh, if that's the reason why. I don't know. I wish I knew. Um, but uh, people stocking up on stuff. Who knows? So, anyways, um, uh, on good days, I'm going to try and get out and do some more shooting and doing some other things out there. Um, but, again, we're heading into or hopefully get some good snowpack this year. So far, not looking very good. Uh, the problem with that is, is when we had the snow melt off, uh, you know, it looks good for quite a while. But then later, as things go on, you know, animals got to have water. So, uh, that's going to push them out of certain areas that they normally would hang in as they go hunting for water. So, a water source, you know, it's, yeah, it's very important when uh, you're out there and you go say, okay, when you look at your maps, um with whatever you use you know like i say use hot uh, onyx and um and i use um cal topo and um google earth when you look at those they'll say hey there's a water hole right here and you go over there and there's no water in that water hole so that means there's probably not going to be a few animals hanging around so they're going to be looking um uh, elsewhere and they might do more of a migration than normal because uh, of the water so you may have to go deeper into certain areas go more down in the valleys uh, looking for your water sources so keep that in mind the water source when you're out there you know um, especially in drought areas and we, we had a pretty good I would say a pretty significant drought this year we didn't get any rain like we normally do. The snowpack last year was very, very low, no lower than normal. Uh, so um, again, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a good snow season this year. But we'll have to wait and see. We got once one one uh, good snow and most of that. Uh, bah, excuse me, but I would say 50% of that is already gone. So, and they're making snow up here on the mountain. That's what people can come and ski. But with that said, um, you know, I'm going to be looking to you know, do some stuff here over the winter time. So I'm probably not going to put out as many videos over the winter time as I normally would uh, during the summer, fall, and all that kind of stuff. Because um, I want to get out there, you know, hopefully um, long about February. Uh, or whatever I do, I can to start doing some scouting. So I'll be bringing you those videos uh, later on as this move, things move on and how things go. Uh, turkey season's coming up here. I don't have my dates here with me, but I got turkey season coming up. We got the deer season coming up, and so on and so forth. So uh, we'll be getting out with that uh, later on. But again, scouting is going to be. be Big key and have some of those uh, up uh, later next year or earlier next year, whatever, whatever it comes up. Uh, and I'll set up my uh, my cameras and stuff to see what we got in the area. Uh, but also, it's all going to depend on various things, obviously, because uh, I'm hunting uh, public lands um, out, 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 out here. So. And they're, of course, got high pressure. So I'll be looking at different areas, looking at maps, going out, and all that kind of good stuff. Okay. Um, well, that's basically all I have. So, but again, if you got any stuff that you suggest or want me to look at, please, like I said, shoot me an email. Um, hit me up in the uh, comment section with anything. Uh, if you want to know what I'm using again, again, hit me up um, so um, with that said we'll come back with some final thoughts and wrap this show up Okay, so I got that figured out. So, um, so minor te technical difficulty there for a second. But uh, anyways, um, I wish you guys all a good Christmas. It's coming up. 
Um, hope that your holidays go go well. I know there's going to be there's a lot of restrictions going on out there because of the coronavirus stuff. Uh, I do sympathize with you guys. Um, I do have my own opinions. So I keep them to myself. Um, but um, yeah, it's, so it's it's a mess out there, and I totally understand that. So um, you guys have a you know like I said, it's a good Christmas coming up, and we'll get some more videos out hopefully um, out here pretty soon. So with that said. Take care of your family. Family comes first. Get out there and hunt and see you on the next Utah Crossbow Hunter. Hi.